Hello everyone, welcome back to High Tech Builds of YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to create a quotation in High Tech Building software. Creating a quotation, our dashboard has a shortcut to add quotation. You can see here a new quotation option. From there, you can create a quotation, or else you can go to the sale option quotation. There is an option of new quotation. From there, you can create a quotation. This is the tab which is going to display on your screen. So the very first option you see here is a quotation type. You can select GST, non-GST or bill of supply accordingly from here. As I am assuming that I am creating a quotation of GST. So I am selecting here as a GST type. Then the next option you see here is a quotation date. You can select the date from here. It could be a back date, future date or a present date. Okay. Now the next option you see here is a valid until. It means up to which days the quotation is going to valid for. So you can select accordingly from here. Next option is bill to cash account or customer account. If the bill we are generating is going to settle at the same time only, means your client is going to make the payment at the time of the billing only. So you have to create that bill into the cash account and the customer account is something means if you want to make a bill in credit so your customer comes for monthly or make a partial payment so you can create the bill into the client account or customer account for that you have to create a client account for making the bill into customer account so there is an another option in the dashboard from there you can create the customer profile there is a customer option you can go to that option and you can create the customer profile as we have already created the profile so the list of the name will be reflected here okay uh, now you can see after selecting that line name here is showing his number and address are automatically filled up okay the option is place of supply so you can choose the place to wherever you are supplying to your product so you can choose accordingly from the drop down list the next option says customer GSTN number. So if your customer has a GSTN number, so you can put it up here. Now you can see here are the two options. The first one says item tag and the second one says item code. Both are here to fetch your product details. So if you have mentioned the barcode, you can also add it or you can scan the product by barcode before making the bills. And if you have added your item code, so you can put it here, it will automatically pull the complete details of your product. Or else you can just mention the initial of item name here and it will show you the complete list of the item you have added and you can select the item from this drop down. So let me select the item name from here. You can also see here the plus icon. If you want to add any item at the time of making quotation, you can simply tap on this icon and you can add your new product by making a quotation. If you want to search the product, so you can simply click on this search icon and you can put the filter and you can search the product from here. Okay, so our product name is displaying here. You can see the unit is here. The next option is the quantity. You can put the quantity manually from here. Then the next option says sale price. You can put the sale price from here. If you want to change the sale price while creating a quotation, so you can also do that. We are having a small calculator over there. By tapping on that, you can adjust the sale price from there. And then the next option says MRP. If you want to put the MRP, you can put the MRP from there. Okay. And if you want to apply any discount in that particular product, you can type it up the discount from there. There is a small calculator for adjusting the discount. You can also use it while making a quotation. Then if you want to apply any tax rate, so you can type it up in the box. Then if you're having a item description and you want it to be added in your bill, so you can type it up in the item description box. So it will be going to display in your bill. Then you can see here is a plus icon on the right side. If you want the product which you have entered here to be added on the bill, you can simply tap on that plus icon. Or also you can use the shortcut of Ctrl plus A to add the product into the bill. In this way, we can add the product in the bill. If you want to edit that particular product, you can simply right click on that product and you can modify that and save it from there. Okay, now on the bottom there are some options. 
first one says add discount if you want to add a discount and amount of percentage you can simply right click on the checkbox and you can add it from there the second option says add reference if you want to add number inquiry number or reference number you can enable this checkbox then if you want to add shipping text so you can enable the third option so you can add the shipping text from there here are the some small icons in the bottom of the screen which says the very first icon means for the reminder if you want to set the reminder against that quotation you can set it from here then if you want to the gst calculator so you can use the second icon tapping on this profit and margin icon i could see the product price profit and margin from here which i have already added in the quotation you see here are the two options delivery terms and remarks if you want to add some additional information and you want it to be get printed on the invoices so you can simply add the details on the delivery terms box and if you want to add any remarks so you can type it up in the remarks box now you can see the total amount is showing here and the subtotal and the gst rate now you can see the quotation which you have created or also you can see when print the quotation let me see when print it uh, so this will be the preview of the quotation which we have created in the software there are some icons let me explain you about it on the left side by tapping on this printer icon you can simply take out the print of the quotation which you have created and the next option says box you can put the num like uh, how many copies of the quotation you want to take the print out for so you can manually put the digit here you see here is a available printer option from here you can check the connected printer with the system and you can choose accordingly next option is a template option we have a variety of template here it could be a trend or classic so you can select from here you see here are the small icons which means if you want to export this particular bill into pdf or you want to send it to email or through sms or whatsapp you can do that from here uh, the last option is the edit company name details option is here so from tapping on this option you can put the complete company details of yours which will be going to get printed on the invoices or on the quotation so you can type your business name your email id your number and everything from here so it will be get saved by default and it will be going to get visible on the quotations every quotations in this way we can create the quotation in the software If you want to see the list of the quotation which you have already created in the software so you can simply go to the sales option then search and manage quotation from here you can check the created quotation list by making a right click on it you can see other multiple options the very first option is for view and modify by tapping on that option you can view or modify the created quotation second option says print export and mail you can simply click on that option for printing that quotation or emailing that or exporting that quotation the third option is for converting the quotation into invoice the fourth option is for converting the performer invoice and the fifth option says if you want to put this quotation as mark as close or you want to close this quotation so you can select that fifth option and the last option is for deleting that quotation to see how we can convert the quotation to invoice we can simply click on the convert to invoice option and within a second we can convert the quotation into a in invoice and we can save it or we can also save and print it in this way we can manage the quotation in high tech billing software i hope you like the video for more upcoming videos do subscribe to our channel also do not forget to hit the bell icon for upcoming videos notification thank you for watching this video stay connected with high tech billing software